Hello everyone and welcome to Somali Christian TV. I'm your host, Somali Prophet. Thank you all for watching my last video. I wanted to try something new and I had a lot of fun making that video for you. Unfortunately, today's video won't be fun. This is because a couple of days ago, something shocking happened in Pakistan. A Muslim woman had recently been assaulted by over 400 Muslim men in Pakistan. Her clothes were torn, she was assaulted and groped. She says that she and her companions were out filming on Pakistan's Independence Day. All she wanted to do was celebrate, yet these hungry, thirsty dogs attacked her. Now, I cannot show the footage as it is too violent, but you can easily find it on Twitter if you search Pakistan 400 men. She's attacked by hundreds of men as bystanders watch. This is entirely unacceptable. It's entirely unacceptable, but not without precedent. See, since Pakistan is a Muslim country, they are taught from a young age that women are like cattle, according to their prophet. They are taught that women are worth half of what a man is worth. And of course, since they all stick together, if 100 men are beating and attack innocent women, 300 men join in. What an utterly disgusting act. If this is how they treat their fellow Muslim, how do you think they would treat an ex-Muslim woman in the same country? Let's take a look into why Islam is such a dangerous religion and ideology and how it permits this. Hadith Sahil Bukhari 348-826 The Prophet said, Isn't the witness of a woman equal to half of that of a man? The woman said, Yes. He said, This is because of the deficiency of a woman's mind. Muhammad teaches that the worth of a woman is equal to that of half of a man. Let's find a Quran verse to really nail this point home. Quran 4.11 Allah commands you, as regards your children's inheritance to the male, a portion equal to that of two females. Why would you give a man double the inheritance of a woman? Only if you believe the man is worth twice as much. So we have established in Islam, men reign and rule over women. But not just that, they have expressed permission in the Quran to beat women. Quran 434 Men are the maintainers of women because Allah has made some of them to excel others and because they spend out of their property, the good women are therefore obedient, guarding the unseen as Allah has guarded. And as to those on whose part you fear desertion, admonish them and leave them alone in sleeping places and beat them. Then if they obey you, do not seek your way against them. So you can see that in the eyes of Allah, these 400 men did nothing wrong. In fact, this behavior is encouraged. Until Islam is removed from this world, these things will continue to happen. Please pray for this woman to see the light and come to Jesus. Please pray that non-Muslims in the Middle East remain safe throughout this turbulent time. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon and PayPal. Stay safe out there. Somali Prophet, out.